All right, hey, Stutter and John, you want to come in here and do this? So John went to the press conference? Yeah, so uh, John went to the Senator D'Amato. For anybody listening, even if you're outside the New York area, uh, our senator, who's like a friend of the show and really sticks you're up for us. In the United the States stupid. Senator. Yeah. That's a national title. So he's, he fell in love with this Yenta from, uh, from the Regis show, Claudia Cohen. That's also national. Yeah, good-looking woman. So it's been such a big story here in New York that the senator had to hold a press conference to announce that he's dating Claudia Cohen. I mean, not <laughs> even an engagement. Everybody knew. Yeah. It's just that people had so many questions, they were all calling him, so I guess he had to have a press conference. Oh. He's the news. Everybody was there. Why doesn't he call into the show with all of this? Anyway, so Stuttering John was there, and we, you know, we, we made sure we had some appropriate questions. They're oh, funny. Really? They're funny, but we didn't want to hammer the guy, you know? Okay. We could have really hammered him. I wondered him. what you would do. Well, I'm not going to hammer him. I mean, yeah, he's our one friend. That was everyone's big complaint after the press conference. What? All, you know, all, all, the, all the media was coming to me going, Oh, John, uh, you know, give me it and slam him, and he'll come. Oh, oh, now they're complaining. Yeah, yeah. They <laughs> usually complain because you're upsetting the press conference. <laughs> so, uh, at, meanwhile, they all used... Did you see the clip last night on the news of uh, Senator D'Amato singing a love song to yes. Claudia Cohen? Yes. That's because John's question was, do you two have a favorite song? But of course, John, they don't give him credit. No, no, none of the papers, none of the TV stations. They went. This is the TV shows last night, and someone from the audience asked if uh, they had a song. It was uh, Stuttering John who yelled out, "Do you have a song?" How often is it that John makes the all the news that they cover? At 6 o'clock. Well, it goes back to my point that most reporters, in fact, all reporters are bores and don't know what to ask at press conferences. And it's ludicrous when we get thrown out of press conferences because we're the only ones asking anything that anyone's interested in. Jennifer Flowers, that was the yep. news out of her press conference. Uh, but you know, yeah. It's, hard. it's always the case. The title has changed. The old days, they, they would always mention me. Now they, they don't ever mention yeah, me. Yeah, because they don't want to. They, they're embarrassed. They're embarrassed that, that you're outshining them. they don't come up with these questions. Yeah, That's you're right. doing better than them. You're doing better. You're outshining them. So, uh... So much for that. Their questions elicit nothing. Yeah. Their questions are asked and then on the cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, but Senator D'Amato acted real goofy. He started, I don't know if you saw it on the news, he started, his lips started shaking and his eyes watered up. I know, he got all... <laughs> he, was acting, he was acting like, an, I, when I was in ninth grade, I had a crush on a girl. I would start getting weepy. You thought it was real, you think? Oh, it was definitely real, but that's what a stiff, uh, uh, that's what a... Anyway, put this. <laughs> that's what a well, that's what a stiffy will do to you. <laughs> make you cry. Yeah, make you cry. It'll make you. It makes you do stupid things. And, make, and you know what? When they break up, like a year from now or two years from now, they're gonna play that clip over, over and over and again. Over. Yeah. It's gonna be unbelievable. It's gonna haunt him. Because every guy gets sick of women. I don't care how much in love you are right now. You get sick of it. You are making that up. You love your wife, and you would be brought to tears right now. <laughs> <laughs> I do love my wife, but let's face it. You're not shedding no tears. You ain't shedding no tears. <laughs> but didn't he cry like a while ago when, that, when they were calling him like a, I don't know, Guinea or something? What was that whole thing? Oh, yeah, well, during the election, he's right. During the election, no one called him a Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, Maybe that was when you John called him a Guinea. John. John called him a Guinea. Wasn't it that somebody made some sort of Italian reference? Yeah, like, like all Italians are in the mafia. Right. Or it was like one of those that. things, yeah. and uh, Senator D'Amato started crying. But he started. He, he his eyes warded up. He got that like. Yeah, and his lips started going. <laughs> yeah, right. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> so who's more in love in this union? Oh, it's so obvious. Uh, Al. Yeah. Senator Al is head over heels in love with her. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph does a pretty good impression of a guy crying at a press conference over a girl. Hey, Ralph, you want to come in and do that? It is Claudia pretty funny. is not crying. Uh, no. no. She's not overcome by emotion. No. No, she's been through the dating mill. Here's Senator D'Amato crying at the... He really went overboard. we got to get him on the phone. Ask him what happened. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you know, because he's been through the mill, too. He's been married. He's had kids. Yeah, he's separated from his wife for 13 years. Man, he's been dating for a while. I mean, you're not supposed to get that cranked up over a girl. And he knew he was going out in public. He should have been yeah. ready. Yeah. 
I don't know. He's someone's got a. I I don't know, man. A stippy. I guess it's true what they were saying that he can't keep his mind on his work, well, and her name comes up every fifteen minutes. I don't know, but a stiffy makes a guy do Ooh. weird things because you know guys don't act that way over other guys. Those guys don't act that way over other people. It's just you know as soon as you get aroused, man, that's it. Dump all your friends. Yeah. You know, guys make. It, love you could it. be sure he's not going to be playing cards with us anymore because oh, according to the newspaper, she's bringing him into a whole new circle. She's going to make him elegant. Yeah. Elegant, yeah. Uh, elegant. Elegant, yeah. yeah. Elegant, yeah. 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 Yeah, elegant, yeah. I love you. That was so good. Oh. <laughs> Guys do stupid stuff, man. That weenie gets you into all kind of trouble. You chop it off, you'll be a success. I guarantee you. in an apron doing dishes. And oh, stuff. man. Whatever she wants. He'll be painting her toenails. Yeah. Sure, honey. Whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> Did you like the kugel I made? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we had a couple of questions and stuff. So, you want to start the press conference? Yeah. Now, I want to tell you that the beginning, we edited this down, you know, because it went on for a long time. Yeah. But the beginning of this press conference where Al makes the statement, we cut in half. And it's still just, it's like really repetitive and tedious. He just repeats probably every, he, he must look at his watch and go over 15 seconds. By the way, did I tell you this is as happy as I've ever been in my whole life? Yeah. So it just goes on for All a right, while. All right, here we go. So not, his statement wasn't even prepared. He just gushed. Yeah. Right. And this is only half of it. And Senator Al really, uh, <laughs> really excited. <laughs> She must be good. Yeah, she must be real good. Well, he's always been an emotional man. Yeah, well, this really got him. This got him acting goofy. He's acting goofy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he walked up there with her, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was me, not the senator belching. <laughs> Claudia and I are here uh, today uh, to tell you this is about a uh, relationship, a serious relationship. Um, and it's a wonderful relationship. Uh, Claudia is my Cinderella. And um, I know that the press and the people of New York... Uh, Were you laughing? Was everyone laughing? Yeah, it was, I was getting like douche chills at this yeah, point. Yeah, I know. It's like... embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing. i got to talk to him. i got to get a hold of him before the, the, before his stiffy gets the best of him. Smack some sense. Yeah, I'm going to smack some sense. Yeah, yeah, smack some sense real real on his sleeve. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of those two uh, security guys that hang with him. I'm going to take him in a corner and smack him around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to, like, smack him upside the head. Go, listen, you, you're having some fun right now. You're going to have some sex. You want to marry her, marry her. But don't go around making statements about Cinderella because it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. Rem you know, it just reminds me of Larry King. <laughs> yeah. He was with that last Mrs. King, and he was yeah. writing about her in the column. I every love day. you. Dedicating books to her. Every day is spring. You are the love. <laughs> You're the one who makes the circle complete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Ain't love beautiful. Then he's in divorce court six months later, and he's like, she's trying to take me over the coals. I was never in love. Yeah, well, why are you dedicating books to her? <laughs> Have endless questions. We're holding this press conference because, uh, to be quite candid, uh, we could not handle uh, the inquiries. Uh, um, I feel like kind of the, the frog... Uh, who was kissed uh, by the princess. And uh, <laughs> we are extremely... Uh, Why is he going to put himself down? Ooh. And, you know, he repeated that line a bunch of times. Did he? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what were you doing, just waiting to ask questions? Did anybody ask questions before you? I think I was one of the first ones. One of the first, yeah. yeah. I guess Al is in the position of really thinking, I don't deserve this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, but Al loves the publicity. He's a senator who's never been shy about uh, being in front of the public, unlike the other senator who you can't find, Moynihan. Mm -hmm. Great senator, but who knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I say great because I spotted him about 20 years ago on TV. He seemed to know what he was talking about. He wrote one good <laughs> speech a long time ago. The fun thing with Senator Al is is that he's a real politician. He gets out there, he'll make it. You know, he loves this. He's accessible. He's just got to, someone's just gotta smack a little sense into it. This was going a little too far, you think? Yes. <laughs> happy? I couldn't be uh, happier. I have never been happier. Um, and uh, I consider myself to be... Uh, Boy, he must be getting laid like crazy. Yeah, but you know what? This always looks bad for the first wife. It's like, what was I? Yeah. Uh, it well, would it be was... wonderful to say you were happy again. Right. <laughs> now, I've never been this happy. 
It's hard to remember the happiness from your first marriage. <laughs> yeah, but that's the mother of your children. you got to think of these things. Like if Pamela Anderson married me and they asked me for a press conference, I would go, uh, my first wife was dirt. I just nope. want to say. You would sound just like this. Yeah. I am so happy. I've never been happier. <laughs> oh, I would. <laughs> very blessed and very fortunate. And we'll take your questions. <laughs> What did they say? Are you tying the knot? Yeah. I... Oh. <laughs> um, we're going to have more to say about tying the knot later. Uh, that's something that's certainly uh, in the future, and that's the direction that this relationship is taking. Is certainly is. Wow. I've been uh, legally separated uh, for uh, some 13 years. That's a cool move Al does, too. Like... He's not divorced. He, no, he no. he got like he got separated, which is really cool. Didn't have to like you know go through the whole thing. No, no breakup, no messy divorce. Yeah, and his kids dig him because the wife was never hostile. He pulled the whole thing right off. You guys think of getting the divorce, man? You talk to Al D'Amato. He knows but how to pull what's it off. The legally separated. Uh, legally separated. That's uh, the legally. Why is the legally thrown yeah. in? Because it just makes it even seem more official. <laughs> because you know you don't want anybody to think like you know you're dating while you're married because he's not really married. Oh, they just never went. It's a technicality. Yeah. Uh, give the guy a break. Guys crying on TV. Mary. <laughs> uh, I'm going to deal with that uh, shortly. And uh, when I do, I promise you I will inform all of you. Have you gone for a yarmulke fitting yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me uh, say that I, I have and do go to temple quite often. <laughs> That was uh, that was John's first question. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah, for a yarmulke fitting yet? <laughs> he was happy you were there, right? I hope. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He had a, uh, we don't want to lose our one powerful friend, <laughs> even though she's probably going to push him away from us. That's going to be her That's first scary. move. Yeah, uh, we got to get to the senator before she interferes in my relationship with him. What do you think she's going to do first? Get rid of that cigar he chews or you? No, me. And she's going to say, like, you know, listen, eh, you know, the Howard Stern, maybe it's not so good. You know, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but meanwhile, I got him laid in the technicality because I did get him reelected. I mean, I, I had a lot to do yeah, with it. Yeah, she wouldn't have come along if, yeah. if the last election <laughs> hadn't turned out so well. I mean, now he got Pataki in. You know, he's the man behind Pataki. Now he's, you know, but don't forget who it started with. I'm entitled. I'll add a little intrigue to this press conference. Uh, Senator D'Amato was amused by every question, except for one, which he handled very seriously, and that was the question of whether you'd be invited to the wedding or not. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. 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 okay, let's see. Can't wait to get to that one. Mm. I bet you Claudia pinched him and said, you just shut up. <laughs> and uh, so the temple is no stranger uh, to me. And uh... Senator D'Amato always gone after the Jewish vote, always. Now, is he going to convert them? No, you can't give that up. <laughs> we have Nobody to... wants a Jewish senator. <laughs> let's, let's be straight about that. Well, that's one of the questions we ask them. Right. Well, yeah. Is it an odd feeling uh, to be an item instead of uh, collecting an item? Is that Kate Pressman? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. God, he's a bore. But John <laughs> wouldn't know him if he was. No, I know. Yeah. I think, well, maybe I don't know him. You don't know. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm much more... Right. There's, the, there's Mrs. D'Amato now. It's a terrible feeling. I'm much more comfortable being on the other side of this. Uh, I'd much rather ask. Oh yeah, sure. Answer them. Yeah, right. And yeah, nobody would like to uh, be in, in the middle of a press conference. A happy press conference. Yeah, yeah no one would like that. She loves attention. I mean, you know, you know, no, listen, Senator Al, you've got to watch. I Get him on the phone for me. He's got to watch himself you with her. You need to have a talk with him yeah. because she's after something. But no, it, no, it's not that. She's probably digging him and everything, but she definitely. Oh, you're so, uh, you know. I she definitely loves you. the limelight. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Oh, no, no, she's on TV with Regis and Kathy Lee, and she's got $80 million. There's no need to be on TV anymore. Right, I was thinking that exactly. I mean, yeah. she must have to but get up But there was never like a need for her to be on TV. Yeah, she right. always had money. Yeah. yeah. So, I gotta tell you though, like Al was like when he talked about it, he would look and look for a hand and hold it. I know it was real romantic. Go to kiss her. You know what that is, man? That's when you first meet a girl, man. It's unbelievable. You're holding he a hand. He's never had this happen before. He doesn't know this drill. Not in thirteen no. years. Not in thirteen years. He's, he's had dates. Don't get me wrong. But and, never had this feeling. Yeah, huh? I guess. You do anything. You know, you <laughs> do anything. Hold a hand. He dress up his bozo if you want. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Um, Al, could you put on this big red rubber nose for the press conference? <laughs> All right, dear. Where are the feet? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> as long as I'm doing it, let's do it right. Where's the feet? Whee! 
It's embarrassing for a grown man to be reduced to this. <laughs> yeah. So in love, Hong Kong. I can never do it, you know? It's just, it's just like, it's so intense. I better just stay with my wife. I'm holding a press conversation to announce my love for... Uh, you think she'll start fixing them up, like get rid of those glasses? Yeah, well, he's got to get rid of I've got to talk to him anyway about those those uh, aviators he's wearing. Those are out. Yeah. He's, I guarantee you she'll get the, rid of those glasses. Oh, he'll be wearing month. designer suits, yeah. the right shoes, oh, yeah. and he'll have a new pair of glasses. Yeah, and he's sure. certainly not going to be part of my card games anymore. <laughs> She's going to put an end to that. He didn't have time to play cards. Maybe right. He's, Maybe busy, he'll... he's busy with Regis and Kathy <laughs> Lee having dinner. Maybe he'll try and bring her. Yeah. Oh, no, he won't. Can I bring my girlfriend? <laughs> That's another thing, guys. Do they want to bring the girl all yeah. the time? Yeah, it's like, what? To a card game? None of us are bringing girls. But she can serve food! Great! <laughs> well, it's a, it gives you a very interesting perspective on things. It does, Gabe. You're right. <laughs> Gabe, you see, it was Gabe yeah, Preston. Right, yeah, I recognize yeah. the voice. Yeah. I thought Gabe had, like, a goofy mustache. No. No, no that's you. That's <laughs> 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 Senator I'll be having dinner with Regis and Kathy Lee and Frank Gifford and... Kathy and all be bad mouthing you. About you. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he'll defend me to Kathy Lee. He'll probably just say no comment. Right. Yeah. It all depends on what Claudia you want. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely going to kill us off. <laughs> Let me say that uh, I would hope that the uh, Catholic Church would uh, be supportive of someone who wants to marry uh, the person that uh, he loves. So uh, we'll we'll cross that. Uh... There are many problems with Ted Kennedy. Many people are aware of. I, mean, uh, I don't know which one in particular, and, and and it really and it really doesn't interest me. Uh, I, I, no, but I mean it. I am. Well, let's... that's a pretty good answer. There are many problems with Ted Kennedy. That's real good. Again, I, I can only say that I would hope that uh, my... You know, press conferences are real interesting, and I'll never understand on the TV news why they show you a three-second soundbite, and then they go on with and it. And they never let you know exactly what happened. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of interesting to me. Church would understand that it's natural for me to want to marry the woman I love. For Claudia's what? I, I didn't hear that. Yeah. Oh, um, I think she's told me that yesterday. <laughs> it, it, but I have to tell you something. Um, I have not fallen in love with her to win over her vote or to get her to change her party. Oh, is it true? Claudia's a Democrat. Mm -hmm. yeah, it sounds yeah. like your father. Who? I did, I did not fall in love with her. Shut up, Ralph. Don't make fun of my father, you dickhead. Who asked you? Where's your father? He ran out on you. Oh, uh, yeah, that wasn't nice. Oh. Dick Wad. <laughs> that oh wasn't my. nice. Man. Wow. Your father really liked you. <laughs> that could hurt a person. At least my dad stayed with me. At least my dad didn't run out the door. Uh, yelling all the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would have been happier. Maybe my dad was yelling, but at least he supported me. <laughs> have a point. Yeah. We do an impression of your father if we could find him. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows what your father. Is. <laughs> yeah, especially you. <laughs> I would wiped you, that out of my memory. Would you recognize him if yeah. we brought him in? At least my father didn't leave me and send me on overnight trips with priests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking for a dad anywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be your dad. I'm up on the bed. Mm. All right, let's get back. Not Ralph. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Ralph commenting on my father. My father's a saint compared to your father. My father just yelled a little bit. <laughs> Claudia be Claudia D'Amato? Cla Claudia will always be Claudia Cohn, her own person. And wow. Uh, I... Stuttering John's question, uh, Senator treating it very uh, reasonably. Yeah. That's why I dig the Senator. He actually treats us with respect. <laughs> he actually feels our question. Hope in the future that she will be Claudia D'Amato. Senator... Senator... But, uh, Senator, and, we, and we got together the following night, so... Mr. Senator, will you convert? Is he... <laughs> of course not. <laughs> John, you're as outrageous as usual. <laughs> and there are no two closer groups, if you stop to think about it, than, than in terms of family, in terms of tradition, than Jews and Italians. Where were the bride and the register? Uh, they beat my ass over there. <laughs> <laughs> they were close to you. They yeah, were yeah, right on top real of close. you, pummeling you.
Unlike the blacks who don't stay together. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike blacks and Puerto Ricans. <laughs> Jews and Italians. I've always heard that the Jews and Italians are very similar, but you go to Italians and ask them that, they go, no, they're not. <laughs> uh, Jews they started that one. They don't see no, it. No, they don't see it. <laughs> Jews desperately trying to get in with some ethnic group <laughs> and not be isolated. No, no, you ain't us. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you're as bad as the Moolies. Oh, forget about it. That's right. Going out in your part of town. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Try to lump us in with the Jews. Yeah, sure, right. Yeah. Don't we have enough problems? <laughs> Don't try to pay. Get some <laughs> I know Italian guys who hate being mistaken as Jews. Uh. That's the worst. They hate that. Because, you know, you always hear people say, well, Jews and Italians are very similar. But you only hear Jews saying that. You right. never hear Italians right. say it. <laughs> That was started by the Jews, I believe, in 1853 in an effort to uh, stop the pogroms. Well, I told you when I thought all white people were Jewish. And right. I went to these girls on a Jewish holiday, and I said, what are you doing in school? And they said, what are you talking about? I said, well, it's a Jewish holiday. And they were like, you think we're Jewish? Ah. <laughs> How dare do we look Jewish? Excuse me. Do we act Jewish? I do that at shows where the guys have the big, high Italian hairdo and the cross and the muscles. And I say, "Hello, you know, are you Jewish?" And they like almost they go nuts. Stage. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> fighting man. Hey, I got to take a break. We'll come back to the press conference right after these. Words. Yeah, Return to the Howard Stern Show. Hey, and let's not forget that Jackie the Joke Man Marlowe has a wild comedy CD and cassette. It's ten bucks for three dollars shipping and handling. Joke Land special buy two get one free. Call one eight hundred three two three King. And this Saturday, February twenty fifth, a big show at Vans in Freehold, New Jersey. For dirty jokes and info, call five one six nine two two one. Remember, five one six nine two two one is not a pay service. Good for you, Jackie. Congratulations. Thank on that. you. Are. Good for you. Wow, things really taken off. It's finally happening. Right. <laughs> All right, good for you. Mr. Party. I actually, uh, when I was in Atlantic City this weekend, I was missing Jackie because I remember, and you remember this, I'm sure, several years ago I went to Atlantic City. It was Jackie's first time in Atlantic City? Because yes. when I got hold of Jackie, he'd never been anywhere. And we sat there at the table together. And I, I always think about this. And I was sitting next to him at the blackjack table. And he was there with his wife, Nancy, who he has to bring everywhere. His, uh, oh, he's like Senator Al. He gets yeah, creepy. He sure does. <laughs> yeah, but at least uh, Claudia Cohn has $80 million. <laughs> so uh, he turned to me and we're playing. And I uh, we had ordered some drinks. And we were talking about this the whole time because whenever a drink girl would come over to us in Atlantic City this week, I can hear no, you. Wait now. A minute. I was like, "What? <laughs> you mean? What is it? The drinks are free? I can hear all six. And I can have two? Wow. Wait, wait, wait. I can have as much wait. as I want. Is there a limit here? Is there a limit? Wait, wait, wait! I just have. I can have another one. Yeah. Nancy, oh. do you Nancy and I have to share? <laughs> no, Nancy, we can each get drinks. As long as you're playing, you get drinks. Wait. Oh, you have to tip? <laughs> All right, but you get a free drink, right? Wait, I tipped her five bucks. I had three drinks. That's a good deal. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I remember I turned to him. If I had to pay, I had the money, Ralph. I turned to him and I said, hey, Jackie. Because Jackie says, oh, you guys are ordering drinks. And I'm like, we didn't pay for him. He goes, when do you pay for him? I go, Jackie, in Atlantic City, when you play cards, you drink free. Uh -huh. Oh, what? I mean, like, oh. <gasps> He ended up staying two extra days. And didn't ever leave the casino. Never. <laughs> and just drank for free. It's the weirdest thing <laughs> you have ever tried to perpetuate the It's fact. not a myth. I was sat next the to you. The fact that you think that I don't know where I can get free drinks. Oh, in the okay. World. All right. Oh, get, Jackie. Jackie, you, you were such a know. rube. Robin, I sat who next there, to you. number one. How I've come you've never City objected to times. this story before? I am telling I'm you, Robin, God is my witness. God is... Jackie the Drunk Man had no clue. Witness. He was completely in the dark I about it. I remember you telling me this, and it seemed perfectly reasonable. I mean, I know Nancy the guy. Know and he didn't. Why are you so I embarrassed to admit it? I remember being pleasantly surprised in 1980 in Las Vegas okay. with Rodney Dangerfield when I had, was given my first Jack Daniels and Coke for free. Okay. That is All I'm going to tell you is you turned to, to me in amazement, and you were like, what, what do you mean it's free? Oh. And I just said, I said, you don't have to pay for drinks that as long as you're playing cards. Oh. And I remember I had to explain everything to him about Atlantic City, even the, even the blackjack. You're out of your mind. You were completely in the dark. Nancy's not playing. She's just sitting here. Can she get a drink? That was right. Yeah, that's exactly what it was like. In the deck. I am telling you, man, you were completely a babe in the woods. And don't ever try to deny it to me because it's not true what you say. No. It's the guy was like, I don't believe it. He goes, he was like, he was like this. He goes, that's a great deal. 
Oh, oh, oh. So goes, in that case, okay, I'll have two Bloody Marys. And can I have a beer with that? <laughs> that's, 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 that's unbelievable. Exactly right. Down ten bucks, but hey. The drink broad came by six times. I swear she hasn't brought a check yet. I, I mean, it dawned on him that everyone was ordering drinks and not paying right. for it. Because he wasn't ordering drinks up until then. That's right, because he was oh, conserving. He was in. saving his money. Yeah, Who's drink gonna Who's gonna I know you weren't, because I sat next to you playing cards. I, I wouldn't have ordered drinks because I would have had to pay for them. All I know is you hadn't ordered drinks. Other people had, because they were getting, like, soft drinks and stuff at that point in the day. And you, and then, like, as soon as you saw the, what was going on, that was it. The Bloody Mary started coming. <laughs> and, I mean, they didn't stop. I mean, like a camel storing yeah. water because okay. they had to go through the desert for the yeah. next 300 years. You didn't stop, that's true. Yeah. Oh, please. I sat right next to you. There was the look of amazement like I'd never seen. Like like Edison saying, you know, if I if I tie two strings together, what? I could talk on a phone. Watson, come here and bring a bloody Yeah, hand. right. It was unbelievable. Waitress, bring a quarter Jack Daniels and a straw. Because I was, you know, I'm just playing $5 hands and I'm pretty even with the drinks. That's great. I mean, I could see him just get drunk yes. and play. As far as he's concerned, as long as he's drinking, he's winning. Yeah, right. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't lose. I mean, Nancy spent two extra days. Yeah. Oh, they oh. never wanted to lose. Ah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get back to the press conference. Well, I, 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 thank I, I thank you for that. I do thank you for that. I thank you for that. All right, anyway, let's get back to the press heaven conference. Heaven is where the drinks are you free. shut so, up, three names. <laughs> so Senator Al D'Amato is having a press conference. Yes. Yeah. And... Stuttering John is in the audience. He's announcing his his love affair with Claudia Cohen. And I guess Stuttering I've John... I've never heard such a strange press conference. We're somewhere in the middle of the press conference. It is strange because, you know... But, but Who as, ever got a press conference to announce, yes, I'm in love? Because the senator was deluged with phone calls. And he even says that. He says it was unbelievable. You still don't call a press conference. Look Absolutely. at what a mess he made of it. <laughs> in fact, this is great for the senator. Are you kidding? Like, this is like, this catapults him. He's front page news. Yeah, but he was front page news without the press conference. Yeah. You know, this is like really super positive press. It's mm, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's only making good feelings for everybody. He's crying. It looks like he's a citizen. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't hurt. Now, here's Stuttering John. I guess the women will... Uh, yeah, they, everyone loves this. Well, Stuttering well. John is now about to ask a question. Well, okay. Where will the bride and the register? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you mean you mean to send the wedding gift, John? <laughs> oh, I, I don't, we'll let you know. You, and we expect a nice one. What will be? <laughs> oh, sorry, this is the big question. I'm taking lessons from Mama D'Amato. <laughs> and by, by the way, as I said, Ma, Mama and Dad and the family have, have met Claudia, and um, you could not meet Claudia and spend any time with her. And not be enchanted with her, not be mm. impressed. And they have given. They have obviously given. I spent some given... time with her. I was enchanted. <laughs> did you spend time with her? I met her. Yeah. Where did you meet her? At a party. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Were you enchanted? No. <laughs> <laughs> not in the least. Ow. Well, you don't have a, a penis, <laughs> obviously. When you get one of those, a lot of people enchant you. Her. You're damn right. <laughs> yeah, she's cute. Of course, that's probably the best uh, knockout piece that uh, the senator's ever gotten. I thought you told me he was dating a nice young girl when you met him. No, not, I mean, time. nothing that looked like this. Really? No. Mm -mm. Not with 80 million. <laughs> that 80 million. <laughs> yeah, 80, 80 million, boy, you never get old. <laughs> All right. A blessing there. You know, they're, they're happy and I'm happy. With love in the air, and if uh, you're being embraced by a registered Democrat, are you prepared to embrace a Republican who is the worst Democrat in the county? Oh, my gosh. We're, I don't think we're here to discuss uh, the, the political events or seasons uh, and what is taking place. But I made a statement about that today. Um, and I don't want to detract from this in terms of uh, his battle to get spending under control. I think he's doing the right thing. What about, what about this? Claudia, you, what an impact you've had on that <laughs> What will be your wedding song, Senator? <laughs> it's the sin to tell a lie. See, now John asked that question, yeah. and this is the news clip that everyone used because yeah. the senator starts singing the song. Be sure it's true when you say, <laughs> I love you. It's a sin to tell a lie. Millions of hearts have been broken just because these words were spoken. Now, I have promised never to. Speak. That's when that, that's when your penis gets you into trouble. Kill. Yeah. Uh, you're nuts. First of all, how could he like that song? <laughs> yeah, we ought to get playing some Metallica. That's going to haunt him forever. Oh man! Because you know when they break up, they're oh, going to be showing yeah. that on the news. Anytime. I mean, that yeah. can be pulled at any time. That's Larry King dedicating his book to his yeah. uh, his wife who he dumped. Thank <laughs> you.
sitting on the floor of the Senate again. <laughs> I've made that promise to Mama, but she didn't tell me I could never sing again. Senator, <laughs> as a politician, do you want to do involved in the gossip conference? Anybody who knows Claudia knows that she is just one of the most wonderful, sincere, oh, cool. gracious Ooh. ladies, a person with great dignity and charm. Ooh, Jackie uh, County. I tell you, yeah, I, I love it. I love being, yeah, I love Claudia. But Claudia, do you call Senator D'Amato Senator or Al? Alphonse. <laughs> <laughs> Alphonse. 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 Yeah. Alphonse. Give it to me, Alphonse. Oh, shut up, Ralph. That's disrespectful. What's the matter with you? Well, I got you one... know what? I was just thinking that myself. Yeah. <laughs> I got one friend in the Senate. Mellow out there, dude. The guy went on the floor of the Senate and, and railed against the FCC. Not anymore. He'll be singing about clothing. I know. Jesus. <laughs> Lost it. I, you know, I, I really nurtured that whole relationship. Now some woman's going to ruin and it. In no time yeah. did he ever get this giddy over you. Yeah. As much work as you put into and it. No, well, if I could give him what she gives him, 80 mil. <laughs> I've never been more happier, Gabe, and um, um, what he's done. Uh -oh. I feel very uh, full. Here it is. This is where this is where we've been. I feel like uh, I feel very blessed, very special person. <laughs> Oh, oh. I gotta get it. I gotta slap you him around. Hear it in his voice. I gotta get him in a room and, and just talk to him. Woo! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm crying. But I felt bad for him because here it was where it's like he's about to either break down or, or try and think of something gross to get out of it. Yeah, he really went. I saw it on the news. His eyes warmed up and everything. His jaw started, like, getting sucked in. Yeah, he, he's, he's a senator. He, he's too old to be doing this. <laughs> yeah, you don't expect this from the people who are running the country. No, you do this in ninth grade. Yeah. i got to get a hold of him. Oh. Gary, get him on the phone for me, please, immediately. It's undignified. Tommy, yeah. Lee, Tommy Lee married Pamela Anderson didn't even bat an eyelash. I'd cry. You do this in ninth grade, but not in front of your friends. No. Let alone in the front press. of us. And plus, it's embarrassing if things go wrong because the media will whip that piece right. of tape out. Oh. <laughs> well, today, Senator D'Amato announces divorce from Claudia Cohen. <laughs> Senator Al's crying now. Right, right, right. <laughs> Senator Al might be crying now, but he'll be singing the blues when, you know. <laughs> it wasn't too long ago. Yeah. It wasn't too long ago when Senator Al was crying from happiness, but today he's crying the blues. Oh, Claudia Cohn has announced her divorce from Senator Alfonso. You know, there's no the waterworks in court started. today. What was that? There's no waterworks in court today. Right, right. <laughs> Only venom flowed between the two couples. The water, the water was turned off. But remember how it started? <laughs> I guess you've been talking to Bob Dole. Um, Oh, my, my my kids have met. Uh, I can't tell you what my boys say, you know, because they are, they they just say, "Daddy, she is special," you know, and uh, in their own colloquialism, and, uh, you know, like she's mint, she's uh, you know, and uh, uh, so we've we've had dinner with him and with my daughters, and and uh, and it's uh, and there's a kinship, there's a very special invite? kinship. Set it up. Are we be inviting Howard Stern to the wedding? Are you for joy? We're not here to talk about politics today. I mean, this isn't about politics. It's about it's about our relationship. And I just I, and the fact that I mean, I have never been happier. I'm very lucky. And and as Al said, I think we both feel very blessed. She is a mint. She's mint. She owns a mint. Got eighty million. Hey, you think I'll get to go over to that apartment, that fancy apartment? I don't. Think you don't think so. so, right? Have you ever been to the model's other home? No. No, but you know that's nothing to speak of. <laughs> oh. oh. How old is Claudia Cohn? What is she claiming to be? Forty in Newsday. Forty? Really? In Newsday? No. Looks is she forty? I don't That's know how possible. Newsday was. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yesterday's Newsday said forty. Did it? I'll, I'll do a, a, a Alexis you don't think search. That's possible? I don't know. I don't know. I got to find out. I'm going to be doing a whole search. I got to. I got to protect him. He's he's walking around with a stiffy, and ah. no one's protecting the guy. How old is How old is Al? Al's uh, forty-seven. No. 57. I don't know what he is. Yeah. 57. 57. He's like a spring chicken, I tell you. <laughs>
Hey, send it up. Oh, will you be inviting Howard Stern to the wedding? <laughs> well, Howard is a dear friend. He's a poker Whoa. player, buddy of mine. Thank We've you. We've been buddies for a long time. Uh oh, Claudia must have shot him a look. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's going to change. There'll certainly be a reception in his future. I mean, the wedding... Well, I, I mean, that is something that we'll announce when we get to it and how many people will come and where. Oh, I see. I'll be at the reception, but not at the wedding. If there's room for it. I'm already... Yeah, there's even like, that's a separate yeah. reception. Al and the people who Claudia doesn't want to meet. You I'm already aced out of the wedding. You can hear her stepping on his foot. You're yeah. On, you're on the sea list. You yeah. can't come to the Ow. wedding? Well, I got the impression from the press conference there that I won't be at the wedding. I'll just be at the reception. But I'm shocked. You know what, well, that, you know what that was? This is, listen. I got that's, that's I Claudia. think, him making a compromise with Claudia. Al, it's May on the Ernst Day. Yeah. We'll talk oh. later. She might have stepped on his foot when he was saying, hey, Howard's a good buddy of mine, plays poker, and all of a sudden she went, oh, and he went, did you hear that? Oh. Uh, he might be at the reception. <laughs> there might be a reception in Yeah, right. <laughs> Hey, who wants to go to the wedding anyway? The food's at the reception. How could you be there? It's going to be, you know, Kathy Lee will be there. I'm going. I'm going. Come on, we, we sit on Al's side. No one's, uh, yeah, let uh, Kathy yeah. Lee sit on Claudia's side. I'm on Al's side. I'd like to see you meet her. I'd pay for that. She'll sing at the wedding. Hey, man. They, she could, as far as I'm concerned, she can stay away from the damn ass wedding. If when I go, I go. I don't care who's there. Didn't she stay away from the Trump wedding? Yep. Kathy Lee was was all booked to go to the Trump wedding. Yeah, she Marla heard, was supposed to be one of her best friends. She heard I was going. Yeah, Marla was a real good friend of her. She heard I was going. Boom, out of there. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. That's why she didn't go? That's right. And she's not going to the Demato Claudia <laughs> Cohn wedding. Because I'm going. So just forget about it, Kathy <laughs> Lee. She can go to the wedding. I'll go to the reception. How's that? Uh, dink. <laughs> Stu Gotts. Too bad. <laughs> you sit home with Frank. Yeah, Frank won't be dancing that night. You stare at the friggin' wall while I'm there with the with D'Amato and Cohen. <laughs> yeah, she listens to this show before she fills in her calendar. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. Wherever you're going to be, right. not. Is Stern going? I was going to sing at that wedding. <laughs> 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 oh, Frank. Frank, I was going to sing at that wedding. Come on, a wedding. <laughs> you know, I, I would predict a, a kind of very, very small. So, so set a... Predict a very small wedding, yeah. which means no room for that <laughs> no, big no. dork. No room for hours. That big dickhead. Sudden change in the weather. Yeah, well, I gotta get a hold of him here. Hey, Gary, get him on the phone if immediately. If he's holding a press conference to announce he's in love, that's got to be a huge wedding. Yeah. That's all there is to mm, it. He's so small. No, we won't stand for it. Yeah. I'm having difficulty getting a hold of him. Claudia's you know, well, changed all his numbers. What was that? His press person isn't answering the phone. Is that right? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a bad sign. Well, oh. she's not. I mean, you got to call him at home. And, I see. You know, that just might have been out or something. Okay. Well... Regis be the flower girl? <laughs> <laughs> That's Claudia laughing. Yeah, yeah Claudia knows. Oh She's God. got a sense of humor. To the reception. Uh, 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 Imus is a great buddy of mine, too. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, Imus really backed you, Senator Al. He really did. You. He, he was goofing on you and wouldn't endorse you. I hate that. But I, he always says to me, do you not want me to go on Imus anymore? I said, do you do what you want. He really came out for you, let me tell you. He really put his ass on the line when you were down in the polls. Oh, that's going to be some wedding. You got Kathy Lee, I'm as you. <laughs> I'm as better not be in the same room with me because I'll spit on that friggin' alligator face. You wouldn't not go because I'm as was there. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I go. I, he's not going to go anyway because you know what he makes in his pants when he sees me. <laughs> yeah, it's true. First of all, he worships the ground I walk on. He tapes the show every day, listens to it, and does my material the very next day. Friggin' a hole. It's true. He'd be afraid, afraid to face you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Howard's friends with uh, DeMotto? Oh, I'm friends with him, too, baby. <laughs> uh, what did Howard ask DeMotto? What did he ask him about? Uh, what, he plays cards with him? I don't know. I don't know my card game. I don't, what's that? I don't have a card game. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a meeting with someone the other day, and, they, and uh, they said, the guy goes, hey, I'm an Imus fan. He goes, you know, Imus started calling his wife on the air. It's really funny. You ever do that? No, no. Then I go, I go, oh. yeah. I said, how about when I was at NBC, I used to call my mother on the air, and he, and he was he like. He tried to take your mother. He started calling her. 
He never. This guy never picked up the phone and called anybody. He never did anything on the air. Well, you know who that is? Is that little that little nerd Bernard McGurk sitting there listening to the show and telling him what to do? <laughs> Bernard, another groupie of mine. Little friggin' a hole, Imus, jerk off, alligator face, rat bastard. So he married I, that I, girl. I I I I laugh at you. I pee on you. <sighs> You married that young girl? Yeah, mm. yeah. She, she's having the time. She's having the party of her life woman, with an alligator face. Thing. Every bit of male testosterone is out of his body. He's looking more and more like a woman every day. Yeah, it's like having another girlfriend, I guess. Tries to hide his face with a big cowboy hat. You freak! You friggin' freak! Incontinent senior citizen freak! Oh. Kiss my ass! <laughs> right, think. I hope. Eat it! Eat it! Just because you're upset doesn't mean you have to. Yes, yeah, Senator Mount. Don't bring up his name. He's not doing anything. <laughs> that woman's got to. She's got to spread her legs for that old goat every day. Well, let's hope you're right. He's in. Whatever. Can't do it. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, Imus and his wife, not Senator Mount. No, that's you. what I'm saying. Right. He can't do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm hoping he, he doesn't have to spread her legs. Right. <laughs> Crumbled cracker face. <laughs> Freak. And what was that? Oh, man, I aged terribly. I shouldn't have drank and did drugs and my lung collapsed. Oh, look at what a mess I am. If I throw enough money at this young girl, maybe she'll marry me. <laughs> Takes it out of his flight. And he's Dusty. calling the young wife on yeah. the phone. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, baby. Hello, baby. Uh, hello? Hi. What does Howard say at this point? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What? Hello, Bernard. Could you go listen to the tapes? Tell me what to do. I forget. Someone hold the phone for me. I'm exhausted. My lungs are gonna collapse. Friends have this kind of war, which I think is good for their ratings. Yeah, good. You um, think it's good for the? But, uh, turn this crap off. I'm done with this. Oh, <laughs> now you're upset. You're off. gonna get upset with Al Damato. Al Damato, my buddy. Oh. Yeah, he, yeah. Diamonds put you into office. Yeah, it's going to change. Get him on the phone. Get him on the phone! <laughs> I control these politicians. I get them elected. He's your buddy. I control all these people. Get everybody on the phone. Get Pataki, Whitman, D'Amato... Get them all in line right now. And tell them what to say. Specter. Oh. <laughs> I need three names. I'm Howard Allen Stern. <laughs> I'm, you see, there's Kathy Lee, right. Robin Ophelia. Yeah, good. Oh. Good for you. Proud of you. Uh, uh, he, he's been a buddy of mine for a dozen years. Sure. We've done lots of good things together. And Who? He's a friend. I guess he really can't refer to you as any reality. Well, now, you know, ever since uh, he's noticed this change, he said, I, used, I like Mad Dog. What's happened to Al? And See, this is all, this is all his buddy, oh. Imus. Mm. Yeah, his buddy, Imus. I'm done with Al. But I'll go to Imus' card game. So you're ready to give him up? Yeah, forget him. Out, out the book. Kathy Lee and I'm Imus tired. Yeah, let them all have him. Let them all have each other. Let them all sit there and be with each other. <laughs> My buddy. Yeah. I have no buddies. My buddy is me. That's who my buddy is. I'm my buddy. <laughs> what are you laughing at, John? Get out of here. Get out of the room. Oh, Who on. wants you laughing at me? No, I, I, get out. Goodbye. Uh, Goodbye. Uh, uh, Goodbye. Get out. Get out of here. You too, Ralph. Out. Everybody out. Party's over. Billy out. Oh. All right, you can say, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there looking at Stunner and John laughing. <laughs> well, Al talks about his other friends. Yeah, go open my mail, John. Do what you're good at. <laughs> go work for free. <laughs> go work for free. That's all. For ten years. We'll call you a broker. 
Why'd you get upset with him? What? <laughs> Why'd you get upset with him? I'm not upset with him. Oh. I just threw him out. I'm oh. tired of looking at him. Okay. That goofy haircut. <laughs> nice edit, Gary. Expose me to that crap. Well, that's true. You didn't need to hear that. Is there something else on there they wanted you to hear? Care less. Oh. Go get married. Go ahead. Sit there with her. Claudia. Go sit with Claudia in her room. Stare at her. And then 20 rooms that she's got. 20 room apartment. Go into each 20 of the rooms. Go into every room. Every room go into. Go into any room you want. There she is. Same woman over and over again. <laughs> Welcome to hell. No matter how many rooms. Right. You'll never change. Good luck. They all age. Remember that. Well, maybe he's figuring since he's 57, you know, there's quite a few years between them. Mm. He won't mind. It's up to him. <laughs> Anybody else want to put a stake in my heart today? Maybe Infinity Broadcasting wants to put them out of more markets, take all my ideas and market them all over the country. I'm done with this place in November. I'm done with it all. I've made my mark. I got other fish to fry. Screw this. <laughs> I need this like a hole in the head, getting up at four in the morning to hear this crap. Hear crap. Hear this crap. Everybody ripping off my material, going around, everyone having a big party on my tuchus. Where's the loyalty? I got no loyalty here. I got no friends in this company. If you don't think I built this friggin' company, I did. Everyone goes around taking credit. I'm the one who did it. God damn it. <laughs> Everybody knows you built this company. Who doesn't? No one invites me to their wedding. Oh, dear. Now he's... That's it. <laughs> I wish brain cancer on Tom. Except he has no brain. <laughs> That's all right. Every dog has his day. You wait and see the next five-year vendetta I hold. Coming back to haunt everybody. Wait till you see the game plan I'm developing. Yeah? I got a whole plan going. Five-year plan, it's called. Howard Stern's five years of revenge. <laughs> you shouldn't get upset since you're going to get your revenge anyway. I'm starting my own company. Wait till you see. It's going to be called Infinity. Infinity. Infinity? Right. It's going, to be very, it's going to be called Infinity, and it's my own company, and it's going to start a broadcast dynasty. That I'm going to have, that I will own for myself. Since nobody wants to give me any friggin' ownership, I own a company now, Infinity. <laughs> That's what I own. Sit here, kiss my ass. <laughs> I'm the one with the ideas. I, you don't, I have the ideas. It's locked in here. Here's my new company. Me at the top. That's the diagram of my plan. <laughs> Howard Allen Stern. Right there. On top. I got a whole game plan, Robin. Just wait to be on the rocket ship. All right. I just wish you wouldn't let these little minds... I got a plan. I got a friggin' plan. You. I kept my mouth quiet about the plan, but I'm going to tell you the plan. <laughs> Don't blow it. Cause... Not on the air, though. Yeah, we don't want those other little people out there to just go scurrying See the company off. I buy. Wait till you see what I do. I'm got, I got plans. That's right. What, am I stupid? You think I'm dumb? Hmm. Wait to see what I do. I got big plans for myself. They'll all want you at their wedding. Uh, that's right. <laughs> think I'm the only one who could... You think, what do you think? There's only one or two people that can own everything? What do you think? I can't do that. I can pull the same trick. Everybody uses my ideas. Oh, syndication. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. That works. Yeah. Screw you, Stern. Uh, All right. Maybe it'll work over here. Sitting here like a chump. I'm not even on the air in the morning in Boston. I'm on a night they got me buried. Out of my friggin' mind over this. With the same crap phone I stare at every day. Look at that piece of garbage equipment I stare at every day. That phone, Marconi had a better phone than that. <laughs> I got a piece of antiquated garbage sitting next to me. I can do better than this. 
Get me a hammer. I'll smash the phone in half. You know what? you got to start bringing in stuff. Because you really have felt like smashing things. For I want to smash something. You might as well do it when you feel like I it. i to bust up this studio right now. See what they do when you do yeah, it. Just make everybody, make everybody rip off my ideas. Grease man. Get rid of him. Grease man. How long am I going to sit and still promo with Grease man? <laughs> This is your blood pressure you're uh, having go crazy. Now. Jesus H. Christ. I would like you to live long enough to seek your revenge. I got a big plan for you, too. <laughs> Robin, Robin Ophelia, Ophelia <laughs> quivers. <laughs> That's right. I'd like to reveal that to you. I don't want to get you too excited, though. Vice President quivers. <laughs> <laughs> The CEO. I just don't want you to have a stroke before it all yeah. happens. When I'm done, you're going to have four names. <laughs> what do you think of that? There you go. You're damn right. <laughs> the more success, the more yeah, names. That's I right. Have. You're damn right. And, and don't let anybody make fun of that. That's right. I'm going to be bare. Do what you want. Do whatever you want. <laughs> you're going to have your own little empire over there. Thank you. You deserve it. Everyone but Jackie. <laughs> Jackie would just work for all of us. Yeah, just wages. Simple wages. <laughs> Good. That's good. Everybody sit tight. Sit tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, you play cards with the guy. I'm always one step ahead of the experts. I don't get strokes. I give them. I don't collapse my lungs. I, 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 my lungs don't collapse. The other people's lungs collapse <laughs> when I get done with them. I'm always one step ahead of the experts. They don't think it can be done. Watch. You don't think a disc jockey? You don't think a disc jockey knows what he's doing? Watch. Well, most disc jockeys don't. Right. Let's be serious. Nah, that's right. Disc jockey's always working for the man. Always working for the man. This is one disc jockey who's not a, a whore. A, a whore. You're a whore? That's right. I'm a whore. I work for... for <laughs> I don't know. I work for... I, I, have to gi I have to give everything over to my pimp. <laughs> Tired of it. What is this? Throw that out. Murdoch, Stringer, Littlefield, Cub Scouts to my genius. <laughs> All dogs are off? Right. <laughs> now, as of today, as of now. <laughs> All talks. I'm calling them all off. All right, I have to take a break. Yes, you do. I need you to get that out of my one. system. All right, I got a lot of good stuff today. We're going to put that aside. Um, uh, you know, we were enjoying Al D'Amato's press conference for a moment. Yeah, no, too bad. <laughs> so glad he's happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All his friends. Why don't, you, why don't you tell who your real friends are? Talk, talk to me the way you talk to me in private. Talk about your real friends. Not John, Johnny Come Lately's and Wannabes. Thank you. Hopping on the bandwagon after you're successful. You got to remember the people that, you, that make you successful, that are with you when you're down. That's when you do it. Bunch of baloney. All right, goodbye. Go ahead. I'm going home. Good night.